taking the immaculate turf at Wembley, the Northern Leeds Crooktown and the London finalists Enfield. Mr Angus Ogilvy was there to meet them. This Wembley final is always an exciting prelude to the Cup final and the amateurs often come up with much less inhibited football. Crooktown kick off for their fifth appearance in the final. They have four victories behind them. Now Enfield on the attack. Big day for them, their first final, although they've twice reached the semi-finals. After six minutes of play, Edwards overcame the crook defence, but it was offside. Nevertheless, a no man of things to come. Four minutes later, a difficult shot from Roger Day ricocheted off the crook goalie. Enfield one up. Crooktown winger Thomas on the attack. The pride of the Northern League weren't going to take the Enfield goal lying down. Then the hoodoo which so often strikes at Wembley hit the Enfield defence. Goalie Malcolm Mitchell goes down with a fractured wrist. 25 minutes had gone and he was off for the rest of the half. Outside right Thomas took his place and helped Enfield keep the Crook boys out. No chance against Enfield before half time, but after the resumption, a different story. Crook down on the attack again. Then across from Brown, Goodfellow gets his head to it and Crooktown have equalised. Gallant Enfield with the injured Mitchell back on the field certainly gave value for money and Crook's defence had to be constantly on its toes. Still level pegging until that splendid combination between inside left William Ruffley and left half Alan Brown. Here it is, the goal that gives the cup to Crook Town. But a cup's not won until it's in the hand. Enfield's tremendous last minute retaliation earned the acclaim of everyone at Wembley. But Crook kept them out and now they take home the Amateur Cup for the fifth time. Mr. Ogilvy presented it to skipper Peter Garbutt, whose supreme generalship had done so much to inspire the victory.